All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Alan Wake 2. We are finally starting our playthrough. We just finished up Alan Wake 1. You guys, uh, if you are watching this on YouTube already, um, you've already seen all the episodes that we did for Alan Wake 1. So now we are on Alan Wake 2. I am very, very excited for this game. I hope you guys are as well. So let's, without further ado, get right into it. I am going to do... Uh, I think I'm just going to do normal difficulty. All right, let's do this. We're also live on Twitch, so if you guys want to watch, live on Twitch. Indeed. Boom. There's my self-promotion. Let's go. Back to the beginning. Let's we go. Come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Okay. I'm here in this the lake. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Ah, the music's really good. Good music choice for sure. I'm so happy we played the first one before this. Oh, the graphics in this game compared to the first one are immaculate. What? Uh, TikTok, please do not ban me. There is an ass on the screen. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Please don't ban me today. Thank you. I don't remember Alan being bald. Oh, is this the agent? Oh, that's actually... That's a good point. Also, by the way, I'm going to turn the brightness up. Can I turn the brightness up? Where's the brightness? Uh, brightness, 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 brightness. I don't think I can. All right, guys. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's Alan. Okay, that's certainly Alan. Bro, what is going to happen here? What what is going on? First minute of the game and there's bare buns on display for all to see. <laughs> What the hell?
Okay, there's lights everywhere. Wait, hold on. What's over here? Can we go over here yet? Okay, we we can't go that way yet. Never mind. Oh, oh, okay. What on earth just happened? Okay, so who was that? Was that the- was that Agent Nightingale? Okay. That... That was an interesting start to the game. All right. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What huh. happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? Cauldron Lake. I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. <clears throat> it can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Are their lips moving uh, faster than the actual like dialogue? Anybody notice that, or is that just me? Here we are, Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. Man, the detail is insane. Jumping from Alan Wake One into this is was nuts. Supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. Wow. There's the car. So where's the deputy? Eaten by a bear. I'll check out that map. Ooh, return one. Invitation. What an interesting way to do the, uh... You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back. Could down. be our deputy. What a way to do the chapters. I was randomly on YouTube today and I was scrolling through all I saw your thumbnail pictures, your reactions while playing games. I was giggling. Aren't they the greatest? Hi, Brittany. How are you? It is good to see you. 
Hope all is well. So I'm like going around. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. Okay, that's locked. The Federal Bureau of Control? That's a new one. Toxic volcanic gas, huh? The FPC is an obscure branch. It only shows up for unusual cases. Well, what's so unusual about volcanic gas? Beats me. I'm not sure if there's like collectibles like in the first one, so that's why I'm kind of like looking around here a little bit. Not sure if there is or not. Something in my mouse that's leaving a scratch on my mouse pad. What? Jesus. All right, so there's those pictures. We got those. Also, there's no stamina, FYI, at least from what I'm getting right now. All right, so there's nothing there. Anything over here? I know we got to go to the left and talk to the deputy. Okay, I can't I go that way either. Way been better, honestly. been a week and a uh, half from hell. Everyone is good, though. I'm glad that everybody's good. I'm sorry to hear that you've had a hell of a week. I've been busy over here. It's been crazy busy, but good. I can't complain too much. What's up, Kenny? How are you, man? Good to see you, dude. I hope things get better for you, though, Brittany. Hey there. Agent hey there. Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest ax in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit. They didn't hear me, did they? <laughs> Were there any witnesses? Yeah, oh, we heard them. A couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. <laughs> Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell him about the heart. Sheriff Breaker is the Heart's same one from the other game. Thornton. <clears throat> I believe. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be... But you know, inside. <laughs> yes. Ray finally saw the sun today for the first time all week. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Got it, Thornton. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> I'm glad that you're able to see Before sunshine for the, the week. Crime scene, Sorry about the ads, though. The facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. All right. Tab is the case board. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Interesting. Okay. The are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Okay. Slight difference in murders, a bloating only commonality in bodies, but not cause of death, exposure to water, post-mortem. The victims had bruising. Series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. 
You can now freely navigate. Uh, we have no cases. Anderson. Visiting a mind Just place does not pause the game, so be mindful started. of nearby threats. Let's ah. Down the hill to the crime scene. Okay, so it doesn't pause the game. Interesting. Good to know. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. It's too much sky. Yeah, hopefully you guys aren't gonna get hit with those ads anymore. They're on like uh like an hour or something like that type of thing for the ads. Hey, and then Casey, I have them going automatically for trying to avoid pre-rolls. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. Real funny, Anderson. That's locked. I probably should just keep on following him. But I'm being very curious. So we're going to do it anyways. So, uh, my daughter had some crazy asthma issues going on and got a stomach bug and developed pneumonia and all that in a span of a week. The bug finally got me, so that's where I'm at. But she's all good now and I'll be a top notch soon. Jeez Louise. I'm glad that, uh, glad that she's good and that you're getting better. I don't know if I actually need to like read these or not. Not sure if I get an achievement or anything for him. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to jump down there, bud. Can't remember how to manage my subscriptions on Twitch or YouTube. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. What? Where is this? Okay, we can't go this way. I like how they do turn us backwards when we're not supposed to be going that way, so that is good. Yeah, it should just be like, go to your profile, go to settings, and then it should be like a subscription tab type of thing. You should be able to see there. Order Falls. Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake. Aha. Oh, wait. Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine place. Okay. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. All right. So, okay. So I only have two. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Case board weapons upgrade. Okay. Cool. 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 I like how you can upgrade weapons in this game. You're not you weren't able to do that in the first one. See, it does pay off to go explore around and see things. Did you get lost, Anderson? Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? <laughs> if they... Next coffee's on me. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. Down here. Can I do anything down? I... Can't go any further. I was gonna say, can we Water's go in the water? Alright, so water is a no-go. There's a box over there. I did hear voices over here, though, in front of us, so I might as well go this way. Welcome back, Anderson. I want to walk around for a minute. You Hold up. Find me. What is this? The witch's hut.
Okay. I guess there's nothing in here? Not entirely sure if it was worth it to go in there or not. Oh, wait, here we go. Ooh, that's like the Resident Evil, uh, like the Resident Evil inventory. The lunchbox again. Wait, where's the Who's lunchbox? Leaving these out here? Oh, okay. So lunchboxes are like what we need for manuscripts and everything. The more manuscripts, obviously, that we get, the better because of the upgrades that we can get. So we're getting in a good cadence of being able to kind of search around and see everything we just head to the mission we wouldn't have gotten to those if we weren't <gasps> diverting off of the main path which is fatal okay so that's the creepy lady that's the creepy lady from the first one I'm hearing a bass, by the way. There was a bass that was going on in my left, uh, my left speaker. I think it was over here to, yeah, it was over here on the left side. I think there's a walkway over here that we can go. That is one ginormous tree. I guess we're not going into the tree then. See, I heard it again. This is creepy. I, don't, I haven't been able to pull out my gun. I'm guessing we're not going to be able to pull out our gun anytime soon. Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. <laughs> Got it. I love how this dude just keeps on talking and I just keep running away from him. <laughs> Bro, we're never actually gonna get into the story because I keep on trying to run around and explore places. Oh, we could have just gone up this way. I would say that it'd be kind of nice to have like a map so I know kind of where I'm going. Did it just get dark? Um, okay. It's down here. Okay, so space is dodge, by the way. Just learned that one. Instead of shift. So that's good. To know. Probably gonna need that in the future here. Campsite down here. I think this is a camp. Is this a campsite? Yeah, this is a campsite. Lunchbox. UFOs. They're looking for UFOs. Very nice. Another one bites the dust. I'm assuming this will go back to the main pathway. Maybe. Maybe not. Possibly. No more stinking ads. Let's go. Brady, thank you so much for the 20 month, 21 month resub. Guys, can we get some hype in the chat, please? And thank you for Brittany dropping the 21 month resub. Let's I go. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Thank you, Brittany. A creepy twig sculpture. I appreciate it. 
Okay, so E is the flashlight. Got it. I was wondering what my flashlight was. Or where my flashlight was. Bro, is something going to jump out at us? Some, something's going to jump out at us. I'm supporting when I can. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and now you don't have to worry about ads. <laughs> that is a plus. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. E equals energizer batteries. Indeed. All right, so there's a bunch of symbols around the house. Not sure if that's supposed to mean anything. Confused? Follow the steps. Wash hands, take chicken out of fridge, take a nap. Oh, okay. So wash your hands. So we gotta go the we gotta go to the sink, then the fridge, then the bedroom. Sink, fridge, bedroom. All right, chat, remember this. Two triangles upside down. Sink, fridge, hourglass. Forward and reverse. Upside down, hourglass, forward and reverse. Upside down. Upside down. What's up, Trap? Very nice. Let's go. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Oh, we just took it. So, suck it. <coughs> nice. Good stuff. Oh, we found the dead body here. Hold on. There's a locked gate over there. We are literally taking the long way around just in case if they dropped anything. Guess I'm a tree? Indeed I am. I don't have the key. Right. Yes, there we we're supposed to be here, right? Anderson. No. Deputy Thornton. I take it. I just took the other way around. Yeah, that's me. Mulligan told me you were coming the other way. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Play the third Deputy. one? What's no the third time. one? You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Okay, I gotta look. I have to look. I gotta look. Is there a way to turn off nudity? Okay. We gotta turn it off. I didn't know that there was nudity in this game. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. And I don't want to get banned. So... We're going to have to re... Because I'm, I'm literally looking at... I'm not going to say it. But I'm going to get my ass banned. Oh my god! We got to keep... We got to do this all over again? And he has his underwear on. That would have been nice to have before. We are good. Alright, now we're back. Lost. Anderson. Again. Freaking nudity. Deputy Thornton, I take it. Yeah. That's me. Mulligan told me you were coming the other way. Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures. And stuff. Jesus. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a call. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Like the first key image, you can place it on a case board inside the mine place. 
C allows Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected with the left click and placed on the case board. Okay. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Uh, later, Lothar. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. Have a great weekend, dude. Placing a key image, placing a key image on the case board it begins a new line of investigation. Okay. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable at the case board and your goals. Investigate the crime scene. Okay. You're now free to examine the case board or leave. Consistent with previous murders. Okay, we got to find evidence for this. Okay. Step one, examine the corpse. What clues to the body to progress the investigation? Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. The killer left the heart right next to the body. This is so Inside interesting. Stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Okay, newly discovered clues can be placed onto the open question. Ah, okay, got it. I was wondering where I needed to put this. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. The clues have resolved the open question and locked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, adapting your goals. Very interesting. You can check the updated goals by pressing control for goals. Learn more about the victim. Learn more about the killer. Okay. About the cases. Casey's lunch boxes. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message. Right area falls. Keep trying. Uh, Cauldron Lake area? Okay. This is so cool. I like how this is all set up. Who I like that. Him? Need to find more clues. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Okay, multiple people, multiple killers, yes. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Okay, so there was were... for a camera. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here waiting. They were filming it. Right on the tab or on the case board we go. Nice interface. I like it. Right? Actually, pretty cool. It is pretty cool. For later. Uh, the killers. Was he killed here or brought here after? For display. It's super snappy as well, too. Like, the interface isn't, like, clunky at all. It's very, very quick. Which I like as well. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Deduction is available. So we put the victim. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Okay. Is there something else here that I haven't 
gotten. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. There's something. What, what am I missing here? I'm missing something. Any idea who the victim is? No, oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. Ah. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Whoever called it, Robert. Great Nightingale. job. Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. All right. So our friend was Nightingale. Interesting. Talk to someone. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Uh, you're not wrong. So what happened to Nightingale after you're the not bureau wrong. let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze. Booze led to paranoia he got some wild ideas in his head chased ghosts until he fell off the map guess he ended up here i bet there's more to that story but no happy ending interesting so he knows him but doesn't know him robert nightingale ex-fbi came to bright falls 13 years ago Okay. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. So he's been, he was in the darkness for 13 why years. Here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. All right. Use our intuition. Saga can discover new clues by profiling person of interest. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Flick the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. Is that this Alan? Some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. They're trying to speak through her or something? He says otherwise. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way. Right. 
I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. <laughs> okay, yeah, sounds good. It's a good thing we got all that side stuff this when we did. This one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From a lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. Hmm. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm -hmm. Or was he Lots not skinny questions. dipping? Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Okay, so we do need to examine tracks. it. Tracks. Barefoot. Barefoot Nighting tracks. Else. They come out from under the boulder. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Yes. I said, what's the piece of paper? A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm. Like a manuscript page of a story hmm. the killer left a message it's for us oh shit the text is about us the victim was one of their own FBI special agent Robert Nightingale and then there was the page they found the first step down into terrifying depths reading reading the words, the words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Ellen. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How, How could they, they not accept? accept even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end, end up hurting them. them. He's still typing. So he's writing. He's still writing the story right now. That is so freaking cool. How they like bridge the Someone's gap between the two games. Us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. All right, the page, the page, the page, the page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. Hmm. In his chest. I must find out what. Okay. Uh, can we put that there? Well, the trail has gone cold. Footprints emerging from the he rock. Came from the lake. These ah. tracks make no sense. The big case board. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Oh, we're gonna. We're okay. We're gonna dig into the body then. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? My it's question is, is if they know about Alan Wake or no? What happens to who? Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. I mean, I'm assuming they know of Alan Wake because he's an uh, he's a writer in this whole thing. But do they know that 
he also was at this lake and he disappeared as well hey you made it back good i hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles crazy flooding down there huh just like i said deputy i want the body taken back to town for a proper examination asap well sure but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after deer fest not a problem i'll do it myself oh and sheriff deer fest again to say he's got the bookers at the oh dear diner in town oh and i've got a key to the gate it's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill Thank you very much for the shortcut key. Thanks. Game Let's saved. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the I'm going to Deerfest. I, I At this point, I feel Let's like I'm in it. shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Feels like it's a part of my life now. The uh, the UI reminds me a lot of Resident Evil. Seems a lot like of the nice Resident Evil so things. Far. Murders aside, pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Stuff this gruesome. There's gotta be something over here. I knew it. I'm gonna say there has to be something over There's here. Another lunchbox. Yep. <clears throat> they wouldn't just have this little area for nothing. All right, we're almost uh, almost to one of our upgrades for our gun already. And there's no Can't stamina. The all together. Thank yet. you. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? Stuff in something for us to find. Wait, did we go this way already? I'm actually confused at where we're at. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> We've already been up here. I don't need to go searching for other places up here. Yep, okay. Got it. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. To Bright Falls we go. Bro. <laughs> Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? What are those? No, what are they dressed I'll in? I'll there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Are those like salt shakers? What is that? <laughs> oh my god. They just, they're just vibing. Oh, hi! The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. How much have you had? <laughs> Not enough. That's all. I'll have to toot my own horn. <laughs> oh, we'll say this place is definitely a little bit more run down than it was when we were playing out the the first one. That's for sure. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got Wait, you is this who I think it is? Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no. Hi, to Sarah. How are you? I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. 
And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. I recognize this guy. Who is Your this guy? Your deputy said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound Doing like Doing very suspects. well. Thank you very much for asking. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no. The bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. But I do, I was going to say, we do have more on the lunch boxes. So let's throw this bad boy up. Um, missing person cases spiked around 2010. It's the guy from Quantum Break and other games. You can go ahead, Anderson. Okay, that's why I thought I, I recognize him. I haven't played I Quantum Break yet, by the way. Happened. Excuse me. Like Definitely need to try it, though. I'm it's Agent on the Saga list. Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? So what did you see in the woods? Hmm. This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos and yes. deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives like some kind of satanic cult and then we bolted and called the cops what makes you say it was a cult <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough they, they were shouting cult of the tree the cult of the tree cult of the tree oh and then we found out the whole thing was terrifying. That's all. What did they find? They found something. What did they what find were there, you doing huh? The late last night. I'm a writer. True crime. What's up with all I'm these writers, York, bro? I'm doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake getting some details. Perfectly legal. Ah, well, well, well. And this is how Alan Wake comes into play. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The mm. cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Well, that's not good. We the know what happens when you steal shit Nick. from somebody. Why? The fence was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Oh, shit. Nothing to do with a murder. That's also something else you shouldn't truth. do. If it says don't go in an area, don't go in a damn area. Plain and simple. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Mm hmm. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <sighs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. This isn't the same waitress, I right? We'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, 
I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. No? I don't think I do. <laughs> and what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. Uh, that's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> the waitress in the first one was also creepy. Got a thing for creepy waitresses in, in these games, I guess. Weird. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we got a profile? No, we need case board. Cases, the previous murders. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Uh, Shane, thank you so much for the uh, share on TikTok. Appreciate that, fam. Thank you very much. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. All right, so keep getting more of the stashes. Got it. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Okay. Oh, hello. Or later. <clears throat> Who's involved? Old psychology. Okay. Old symbols. Damn, we're getting a bunch of stuff right here. Holy crap. Nah. Okay. All right, so we go to the sheriff's station then, I think, All next? Set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Let's well, go. Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. Have you heard of this <laughs> cult of the tree, <laughs> Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. Or something. <laughs> played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Yeah, Deerfest uh, brings out all the murders, apparently. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for uh, saying yeah. the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. <clears throat> the sheriff's station is right next to the bank. What a good spot for a sheriff's station, if I hey, do boss, say so myself. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. We got a oh, map. This is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Right, right. I know. All right, so now we have a map, so that's cool. Oh, did I miss a, like... Okay, so it is a good thing of, like, gra like getting everything that you Agent. can. Um, hi, everybody. Just don't mind me. Just... Snooping. Just snooping. As you know, the investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. <laughs> Sheriff Breaker wants us to cooperate oh, fully. I am a tourist, and it appears I'm that I'm lost citizen. in the woods. It's only had a tour guide, also, it's bear season. I just busted through that door, okay. man. 
I was not expecting to bust through that right door, but you, here we sir. are. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket whenever you're ready to take my money. Ah, oh, we can get on the computer. Sheriff Station's map. Okay. All right, so make sure to get all the maps then. Got it. And I'm here to give you... So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem. Though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Jesus, why is it so dark down here? I want to turn on some lights? These guys are just walking in the dark. Something about morgues. They just don't even care. I can't say I feel the same. <laughs> He's joking. Hang on, what's what's in here? Hang on, hang on. See, it's always worth the snooping. Always worth the snooping. They're hiding something, you think so? I mean, they definitely know something is up. I can't get through this. Oh, uh, locked door. Bro, turn on the lights, people. Okay. Let's take a look at outpatient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? It's so creepy. There's writing on here. <laughs> can't make it out. There's writing on the heart? How'd they manage that? This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. Hmm. It doesn't add up. Uh-huh. No lights and a dead body. I'd be they running up the stairs, right? His chest. I definitely wounds. wouldn't be down here myself either. Up a fight. All right, we got the case pages, so now we... Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Now we figure this out. Cause of death. That's not right. Ritual writing. Chest wound is cause of death. Yeah, no shit. His heart got bloated. pulled out. Waterlogged. Doesn't add up. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Um, I would assume so. Okay, so we gotta watch. We gotta watch the TVs. Oh, this is gonna be gory. Well, actually, no, because he's, what is it, post-mortem or whatever it's called, so there wouldn't be any blood? However that works, I don't even know how that works. Oh, my. Okay, what is that? It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Alan Wake. Was it the departure pages? No, 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 wait. Sheriff? What the hell? Show me the clicker.
couldn't see her. Could not see into bright light. So am I the only one that survived out of this? Stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. He can't see me in the light. Okay. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Safe havens will restore some of your health if you leave or attack from safe haven while in combat will become temporarily unavailable. Gotta move. Now. Okay. All right. All right. How do I know if it's going to save? Do I know if it's going to save? Game saved. Okay. All right. That's a perfect stop right there. Creepy as hell. I'm invested. Yeah, that was that was a good first chapter. I think that was better than the first game. The first game's chapter was so so. This one interesting.